Always start out with a sharp knife. This first started, but I don't care. So you want to begin cutting the bottom and the top of the cantaloupe and then starting to clean the fruit, you want to follow this little green thin line around the flesh of the cantaloupe. When did we change? What's this all about? Now for the pineapple, there's one thing you're going to have to look out for and it's these little brown pits on the outside flesh of the pineapple. Just cut right behind them so that you don't get any nasty bits. See your eyes go back to what I turned to me. All the same rules apply for this watermelon, except your guideline is going to be the outer white flesh of the watermelon. You're going to want to follow as you carve the fruit. And what we want, those lives we live, the time we give is what we mean. Deseeding this cantaloupe is pretty straightforward. Just make sure when you scoop, don't scoop too much of the flesh out of the cantaloupe. Again, when you're cutting large fruit or vegetables, always cut with flat surfaces down on the cutting board. Otherwise, you'll end up cutting yourself. Pineapples have a really hard central core. Uh, they actually make for a great snack later on, but for the flesh of the pineapple, you just want to cut around this hard core. So for the watermelon, there is no cleaning. You don't have to take seeds out or cut around a core. Basically, you just cut it however you want. It's you I want. I feel like I'm in a hotel. Wow. Remember when they brought us fruit in Bali? Mm -hmm. And put it at our hotel. Mm -hmm. Thank you for feeding me. What's this all about? I want to be next to you. Catch you 